Woo, 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 dick weaver. <laughs> You're an idiot. You know something? You're an idiot. That yeah. was, listen, a lot of my shit. You're very ignorant. A lot of my shit is deliberately ignorant, but there's a nice point in there somewhere. Which like is a, what? Like a little, little rose. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Um, <laughs> what do you mean what my point is? My point is the reason why we don't fucking respect the fact that you guys go out and do it is because it takes no skill. Because guys will fuck anything that moves, basically. Okay, you want and even, but even the fact that we will fuck everything, anything that moves, we still got to fucking do a little tap dance before it. Uh huh. Yeah, look at you. We, you know something? I'm old enough to realize when you get that look on your face, even if I'm making a great point, you don't want to fucking hear it. You already have your mind made up. You know what it is? You don't have a comeback to this other than to sit there with your stupid eyebrows <laughs> doing whatever they're doing right now. <laughs> it is true. Do you know? Do you, don't you remember that time when I was trying to explain to you? This is a great story. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell the podcast people this because I'm so sick of looking at your what face. What story? Right now. One time we were in a bar, right, and we were talking about whatever, what it was like to be a guy and all that shit. And I was sitting there telling her, you know, to, to get laid, you know, you got to have fucking. Oh, you said, you know, guys. Oh my god, they used to just say the dumbest things to me. Mm-hmm. That's what you said. I right. said, really? I go, let's flip the tables. Let's pretend I'm in control. And you were over there. Uh, uh, oh, horny. right. And, yeah. I had to, and I had to come make the move yeah, you, on you. you had to hit on me. <laughs> and you want to talk about bombing. So she's sitting there just oh. with her fucking non-existent game. Like, hey, I see you're drinking a drink in your glass there. <laughs> and I, I have game. And I was being a total fucking jerk to you. And at one point you go, you just be, you're just making this difficult on purpose. And what did I say? I said, welcome to my world. Oh, I see. And the whole bar went, ooh. No. (laughs) No. And you started (laughs) high-fiving the bartender. That's what should have (laughs) happened. If I was mic'd up, that would have (laughs) happened. Oh, shit. See, now all you're doing is mocking the great point that I made because you know you're wrong. Don't you fucking plow through it. It's difficult, isn't it? When I was being a fucking jerk, thinking, isn't that the craziest feeling? Like, what the fuck do I say? How do I get into this? That's what guys have to learn how to do. You guys don't have to do that. All you have to do is Women come there. Women have to know how to flirt. Oh, you, what, come there with half your titties hanging out and sit there like, ha, no, ha, that's ha, not what flirting fucking, is. Fucking slowly putting the straw in your mouth. No. Suggesting. Flirting is a whole, like, seductive technique. You know, it's like being charming and funny and, like, and sexy. Putting your hand in his forearm for just a second and then taking it away. And this isn't some, like, fucking Cosmo list of how to get a guy interested in you. I'm just saying. That wasn't a Cosmo that, list. That was, that was, yeah, is. that is something that I Cosmo. learned. That's something, <laughs> that's something I learned. What, what? Putting your. This girl one time, when we finally fucking hooked up, you know, I, as always, I was stunned that it <laughs> happened. And then she was like, fucking, uh, what did she say? How did you not know I liked you? It's like, well, you never fucking say anything. She goes, I put my hand on, she goes, I put my hand on your arm. And, and like, that to her was a, a sign of, yeah. I want to have sex with you? Well, no, not that okay. she wanted, but she liked me, that she was interested. Oh, okay, like the physical contact thing. Okay, I guess so. You seemed pretty confident when you were hitting on me. That's because I had been bombing for years. <laughs> 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 no, I got, yeah, you get, to, you get to the point where you don't give a shit. If I had to do it now, uh, forget it. It'd be, it'd be like taking five years or six years off of fucking stand-up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like my... Not to mention I'm old dulled, and balding. So. Like that, that doesn't help either. You're but I am balding. making some money. I am making some money. So that, mm-hmm. that trumps a lot of shit. That's like me wearing a little hoary dress. If you come fucking walking in with money. What do you mean? First of all, bro, you keep boo, saying I'm boo. making money now. It's not like you're walking around dripping in like diamonds and Rolex watches and stuff and driving, you know, a Porsche where you read I have money. You're walking in there I would with go one out. of 50 Boston sports related <laughs> T-shirts that you have. OK, with your socks pulled up and your old man shorts I on. I like my socks you pulled up. You look like. like why can't you? You look like the fucking little league coach. <laughs> or, okay, you're not exactly screaming "sexy money guy." Okay, so this whole idea. Oh, I make money now, so now the hey. bitches, the bitches be loving me. No one knows you have money. Okay, seriously. <laughs> well, maybe that's my little whore repellent. There you go. Dress like a little league coach. <laughs> If you have money and you want to keep it, that's what you do. And then every once in a while, you go out. And I, I wouldn't even know what to wear. I would watch an old R. Kelly video. <laughs> Am I supposed to have like not have a 
have a tie on but have some sort of chain with my face on it. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. One of these days, Needy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down to fucking Hollywood Boulevard of Sunset where all those whores are walking around. We, I watching that you with you. You keep threatening that. You keep threatening you're going to go down. You're going to go down to the W Hotel. That's what it is. You're going to go down <laughs> to the, the, w the bar at the W. <laughs> <laughs> and having all those young girls ask me where the bathroom is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work here. I'm actually here to uh, intermingle with the opposite sex. No. <laughs> Listen, Nia, I act my fucking age. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm not I, even if you were to fucking dump me. There's no I wouldn't go down to the fucking W. What would you do? I'd go down to the wine bar where all that <laughs> dusty divorce pussies at and just accept my lot in life. Oh, can we talk because about how you there's called no... some woman a cougar and I said it's <laughs> they're not cougars if they're the same age as you. They're no, no, not. no, no, but no. It, well, she wasn't hitting on me. What do you mean? Who she was she wasn't... hitting on? When she hitting on somebody young? Who are we talking about? You said to me, oh, we were out the other night and these cougars came up and talked to us. And I said, they're oh, not those cougars. Girls. No, they were up. I said, they're not cougars if they're they the same age as you. No. Do you realize no. that female cougars are no. your age? The, the ones they call cougars are your I age? I don't judge them by their age. So for you to say cougars listen, makes no sense. Listen, I don't Those ju- are your peers. I don't, ju- <laughs> <laughs> I don't judge them by their age. So then why'd you call them cougars? By the cougars lack, all about age. The lack of elasticity <laughs> in their fucking... Aww. Yeah, no, Nene. Their, their, their titties were like... When they pulled their pants up, like their titties were behind their belt, okay? They were, fu- they were a mess. You, you know, I'm like, one of them was actually cool. And the... Uh, she was cool. She was actually... Like hot for her age and still fucking working out, but she was like beyond the expiration date. So you've actually said, "Hey, you look good." She goes, "Thank you, thank you for noticing." The fucking attitude you would like them to have, twenty five years earlier, right? So she was cool. The other one was a mess. Mm. I told you she kicked me in the fucking leg. Oh yeah, <laughs> like three times right in the shin because I made fun of her because she was just obnoxious. Okay, we're sitting over here. I was hanging down. I'm not going to mention the person's name, but I ran into a comedian. And we were sitting down, and they came walking by. Mm-hmm. Ah, so comedians, you know, we fucking made fun of them. Next thing you know, they're sitting down. And it was, it was horrific the second they sat down. So the one was cool. The other one was an asshole. What did I say to her? I didn't comment on her age. I did something. And she had these big, those big, stupid fucking platform horseshoes on. That they're all wearing now, right? And she fucking kicked me with it. was like hitting with a block of wood. And for some reason, it didn't hurt. <laughs> she hit me like three fucking times, and I just kept laughing at her. And then security came over. The whole thing took like 90 seconds. She had that, that sound of cigarette and jizz for fucking oh, 30. Oh, God. Oh, it is. It is what it is. Come on. She came up. She was in that window, Nene. She came up. It was just herpes. <laughs> That's when she came up. <laughs> I think if she if she had like a CB that would be her handle. 